Welcome back to the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. At this time of the program, we're going to check in with Damon Sunday at the University Center as we have some volleyball action. Southeastern hosting Sam Houston State in a Southland Conference match at the University Center. Cherish Crone with a dig for the Lady Lions and Courtney Donald with the kill. Southeastern with the point. Devaney Wells Gibson with the serve for Sam Houston State. Taylor Buckner comes flying out of the back row for the tip and the kill. Bearcats with the serve. Buckner the dig. Bekelja sets it up over the outside. And Becky's set good is Veronica Turk with the kill. Another Bekelja set for Turk. Tip back over. Megan McMillan the dig. Now Shelby Devlin on the hit. Sam Houston State keeps it alive. Morgan Todd from the back row sets it up and it's a kill up front for Veronica Turk again. Dig by Todd, set up by McMillan and the kill by Tamara Grayson as she sneaks it inside the back line. Cherish Crone serving for the Lady Lions. Bekel just saves it on the side. Now back across by Crone. Sam Houston State keeps the ball alive. Another dig by Crone. Chasing it down. McMillan. And uh, back across by the Lady Lions. Dig by Crone. Set up by Bekelja. Goes cross court. Grayson the attack, but kept alive again. McMillan the dig. Nice long volley. Here is... Sam Houston State finally succumbs to the Courtney Donald kill and the Lady Lions pick up a point. Buckner on the attack. Now back across and Sam Houston State sneaks it inside the line for the kill. Now off the serve, Crone the dig, sets it up for Bekelja. Tipped and Sam Houston State with the point. Dig by Crone, Bekel to the set, Donald the attack, stays alive, and a block up front for Courtney Donald and the Lady Lions. Get the ball back and a point. It's Veronica Turk to serve. Bearcats trying to sneak it inside the line and just able to get it there for the point. Morgan Todd the dig, set up by Bekelja, back to Grayson who slams it home for the point. McMillan the dig. Courtney Donnell again on the attack. Slams it home and that's another point for the Lady Lions. McMillan to Bekelja, she'll set it back across the net. Sam Houston State keep it alive. Back across by McMillan. Now back by the Bearcats. Bekelja that time with the tip and the kill. Southeastern that would fall in three to Sam Houston State. Thanks, Damon. Earlier in the program, Bart Belairs and myself discussed the importance of this weekend's football game as the Lions look to move to 3-0 in the Southland Conference against Northwestern State. Well, as they got to 2-0, they knocked off Lamar on the road. Let's check out the action. So interesting, Nathan Stanley out. I guess they have a couple of packages designed here for Brian Young. Space right up the middle. Uh, down about the six-yard line after a pickup of seven yards by Brian Young. Snap is good. And the kick is Off the upright and it, it goes, goes through. through. Wow. Big break by Southeastern. Colin Kaler again back to punt. Playing the ball well this afternoon. Another good one right there to Robert Alford. All the way back to the 25 yard line. Oh, he's got some room. Oh, he's got a lot of room on this left side. If he could turn the corner, he's got more down the sideline. There's Alford. If he didn't step out of bounds, he's taking it to the house for Southeastern. 75 yards and a touchdown. He stayed in bounds the entire time. There are no penalty flags on the field. And Let's take a look at it again. Alford, he saw the guys coming at the 25 after a great punt by Kaler. Yeah, but he is something special. We talked about him in the open and his coverage skills and the things that he does, and he just really... He's a fantastic return guy. Xavier Roberson. 
There's Nathan Stanley. Oh, double Luke move there. Ball. He's got a wide open receiver out there. Yes, he's got sir. it, Tony McRae. Nathan Stanley. Touchdown pass is good. Yes. That's going to be Blaine LeBlanc for the touchdown reception for Southeastern. First play to begin this fourth quarter. Ron Roberts and the Lions pick up the victory today over Lamar. Obviously a huge road win for Southeastern as they went on the road to Beaumont, Texas and knocked off the Lamar Cardinals. And that was the first time Southeastern had won a road game since 2009. Let's go out to the Southeastern Soccer Complex with Kimler Chapel and check out some soccer highlights. Southeastern women's soccer team returned to the Southeastern Soccer Complex on Sunday, host Southland Conference rival Lamar. Early on, Carrie McWhirter plays a ball into the goal and it's just out of the reach of Maya Cooper as Lamar keeps Southeastern off the board. Southeastern comes up with a big defensive stop as Lamar can't get it over the wall and Lauren Stillian knocks it the other way. Stillian's back the other way and she rips a shot, but nice save by Lamar goalie Bailey Fontenot. Keeps Southeastern off the board. Another good run here for Southeastern as Cooper draws a foul in the box and is rewarded with a penalty kick. Unfortunately, that penalty kick sailed just wide. Southeastern stayed off the board. Stillian tries to knock one in here, but she can't control it. And Kayla Vera's shot misses the mark. Lacey Bach has had a strong outing for Southeastern. And she makes a save there. But Lamar would get the only goal they need here from Taylor Mitchell. She rips a shot into the upper left corner to give Lamar the one nothing lead. Cardinals will make that lead stand up as they drop Southeastern to 7-6-1 and one overall. 1-2-1 and one in conference play. Thanks, Kemler. A tough loss for Coach Blake Hornbuck on his Lady Lions soccer team, but they're right in the middle of the Southland Conference race and continue to push for the Southland Conference tournament. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to take a look at a second-generation Lion on the baseball team as they keep it in the family right here on the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. Dwayne's car. There goes Dwayne's house. And there goes Dwayne. Man, that thing does not like Dwayne. State Farm's got you covered. Count on Sean Duty and Laplace to make sure you're covered. Get to a better state. Athletic Association, winning championships one student athlete at a time. Through the Championship Fund, the LAA provides financial support for scholarships, operations, and facilities. Join today and make a huge impact on Southeastern student athletes. For more information on the Lion Athletic Association, visit lionsports.net. 